Lomax NG7M here for a simple tutorial related to changing your default sound card settings for audio modes when operating with a transceiver in amateur radio. Now this will mostly apply to the craze of FT4 and FTA, but any audio mode that is transmitting audio um, from a speaker output on a sound card over the air will apply here. Nowadays, it's common on the newer transceivers they have built-in sound cards or in the event you plug in a USB sound card or you plug in a PCIe sound card to your PC and boot it up. Uh, Windows will make that the default speaker output and the default um, you know, mic in or line input potentially. And so the problem here, which any of us that have been operating FT4 or FT8, it's all the craze over the last number of years, you'll hear periodically on the bands when a decode is up somebody will have the default sound card settings set up and a dialogue will pop up that will play the default sound for a dialogue, whatever it might be in their software, JT Alert, WSJT, or their logging software they have integrated with WSJT. And they will actually transmit that default sound over the air because the PTT is still selected. And in WSJT, they're using the default sound card for the output. Um, or the default sound card is their audio codec that they're using for the audio playback um, on their transceiver. So um, not to belabor that point, but the idea of this video is that you don't want to be that gong, boing, whatever the default audio is for the dialogue that pops up or whatever sound that may pop up in other software that's using the default sound card. You do not want to be that operator. It's just embarrassing. You can't really tell who it is. Um, and it, you know, so the first thing you want to do is the following. I'm going to go ahead and just give a little demo on that. Now, keep in mind, this is Windows 11. It's very similar to Windows 10, but I will also demo the good old sound uh, device control panel that we're used to from Windows 7 and Windows 10 primarily. So I'm going to right click down. Let's pretend I just plugged in a new transceiver that has uh, one of those um, you know, audio codecs. It's kind of the standard audio codec that's built into a lot of these transceivers. I'm going to right click in the bottom right on the little speaker and then you can go through the device manager to get here too. And I'm going to left click on sound settings and that comes up. I'm going to zoom in a couple levels here. Should still be able to see that. And this is what you do not want. So by default, I'm looking at system sound. And right now, um, I have the speakers as where to play sound now in Windows 11. It kind of explicitly says that but you do not want this to be the default. You want to switch it back to, in the event that this is ever selected before you operate, you want to select, change that back to your normal speaker output. Now, when I click on this, it may good the dialog box stayed here. That's the main one you want to change, but you also, um, if the input, you know, choose a device for speaking or recording, if the input is also that new USB audio codec, in my case, I want to change that back to my normal device and um, you can also set up the default communication device, which I'll so show you when we go to the older device settings dialog, which more of us are, are familiar with. That's the first thing you want to do. So now I've got speakers back to that. I've got the um, my microphone back to where it normally is. And now I'm going to, I'm actually going to make it wrong again. I'm going to change it back to the USB audio codec. And we're going to go back to the USB audio codec here for the line input. And this is where your sound card is sampling over the air analog audio, right? Um, the main one is the, you know, where to play your sound is the problem. So now if you scroll down to the bottom, let me just demo the good old sound device settings. If you click on more sound settings here in Windows 11, it'll pop up a dialog on them. And it, it's actually not on screen right now, so I need to zoom out. And it's covered up a little bit probably from my video. I'm going to bring that over here and we will zoom back in. And so I'm on the playback device. You can see that my speakers are set up as the default communication device. That's fine. But if we scroll down here, this is evil. This is bad. You do not want the speakers for your new USB audio codec um, to be the default device. You want to right click and, and um, actually not right click here, but you want to right click on your normal speaker, speaker output and say set as default device. So you want the checkbox on your normal speakers, not on this. You do not want a green checkbox here. And then if you go to the recording, ideally you probably don't want to do that for the input um, either of the sound card device. So 
Um, right now, my microphone is set as the default communication device, which is good, but my line input for my USB audio codec for my new transceiver here is set as the default device. I don't want that. I'm going to um, set my microphone to that. I'm going to set that to the default device so there is not a green checkbox here on the line input for USB audio codec. Uh, that pretty much does it. And there's more settings here um, that you need to get familiar with. You can you can go in and set up some more default settings, you know, the, the uh, input volume, etc. You can also do that in the good old um, more sound settings, the old dialog box that most of us are used to, but I won't delve into that. The main thing I wanted to show was just the first thing you want to do and always double check, make sure you do not have your transceiver sound card or the sound card you're using with physical line in line out connections to the back of your PC as set up as the default device. So, um, you know, I hope that helps somebody out and keeps those sounds off the air and it'll keep you from being the boing gong operator. You don't want to be known as the boing gong operator. So 73, I hope to hear you on the bands. And if you like this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified if I post a new video. Plus that helps the YouTube search algorithm too if you're subscribed to find my videos. Have fun on the bands and 73 for now in G7M. Bye.